What's going on YouTube? Evan here with Cloud9 Aquariums. Today I'm going to be making some Java Moss uh, carpets or you could call them walls. It depends on whether you're going to put a horizontal or vertical. Um, first off, happy St. Patrick's Day y'all. Wrapping that green up. Um, so, let's get even more green. First thing you need, Java Moss. Now you can really use any kind of moss you want. Um, I'm using Java Moss right now because I have way too much extra. Okay, I ripped out a lot of it out of that 10 gallon that I got going on. And I actually got a little cherry shrimp tank going on, which I will show you soon. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. All I need is, I'll show you what the package is like so you can look for it. It's called uh, plastic canvas. Okay, you can get this stuff at Walmart, three bucks. It's for six sheets, I believe. Look at this stuff, okay? I understand it's uh, made out of plastic so it's not going to degrade in the tank and um, you know it's going to be strong but the holes are big enough that it's going to be able to grow through that's the key other things you're going to need some scissors obviously and uh, just some basic four pound test or whatever it doesn't really matter how what the strength of it is but just some clear um, um, fishing line you can use you know string and stuff too, but again something that won't degrade would be awesome. So this is probably gonna be too much again. But I'm gonna be making a lot of these. So here's what we do. You're gonna take one sheet of it, lay it down, okay? This is not complicated, folks. You're gonna take your Java moss, you're gonna wanna break it up and start placing it over the bottom sheet. Now the reason you wanna break it up and just not put a big clump that the big clump is just going to rot and not going to grow very well. So you want to break it up. Um, obviously, if you don't have very much of it, you can go a lot more thin than I'm going to be going. But I have a lot of it, and so I'm going to be using a lot of it. So go ahead and just freaking cover the crap out of this thing. Um, the point is you want to evenly space it, so that way when it comes through on the other side, it will look awesome. You don't want to have holes in it and stuff like that, you know. Don't skimp on it. Um, I like to use Java Moss. Um, just because it grows really fast. And it's uh, actually, it's, it's a really cool looking moss. I know a lot of people have, uh, I don't know, they have some bad things to say about it. But when you're first getting your Java Moss out of your tank, so you'll see I'm getting out of water. Just grab a clump of it and squeeze it. Dry it out. It's not going to hurt it. And you don't want to get your surface all soaking wet and stuff so that's how I'm doing it um, hope you guys have been having a good week my week's been busy as always but you know how it works sometimes on the weekends it's time just to chill out hang out with the fish tanks get some stuff done we wanted to do this for a while I've got so much extra java moss floating around I figured you know what I might as well do this alright so now that I got this completely and utterly packed, make sure you get around the edges too. Again, you don't want any uh, holes. You're going to take your other sheet. Yes, you need two sheets. And you're going to put it on the top. And line up the holes. And I'm not going to bore you with this because, frankly, if you're like me, you don't want to watch me thread this entire thing for 15 minutes because it's just lame, okay? But all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to tie it off, I'm going to go around the edge just to hold this these two things together and then uh, when it's done I'll show you in the 90 so you can see what's going down when it's done it's going to look a little something well like this frankly it's just showing out floating right there um, I'm going to let it float up near the surface so I can get some fast growth going on see it's popping through a little bit but uh, yeah so I'm gonna grow out a bunch of these in here. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try them horizontal and vertical. We'll see how that goes. Um, you know, it is what it is, folks. It's gonna be sweet. Obviously, it's gonna grow through the mesh. Um, if you're growing vertical, it's gonna kind of droop down. You're gonna want to trim it up just to keep it looking cool. Or you can go with the horizontal. You know, especially when I'm thinking eventually this 90. Because you'll see right now, I got nothing in the bottom of it. I'm thinking I'm going to go, well I got those, but I'm just growing some uh, some baby tears just for, you know, whenever I decide I want it and something else, those are just clippings. Um, 
But what I'm going to do in this tank eventually, because you'll see i got a bare bottom tank, because this is eventually going to turn into a discus tank, right? So, what I'm thinking is I'm going to actually carpet it with Java Moss. Now, you could just float Java Moss like this, see how, but it just looks like crap. You know, it doesn't really do anything. All it does is spawn algae and it looks garbage. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put these mats, float them up here for a while, get them going, and then once they're going to see some serious growth, I'm just going to carpet the whole bottom of this thing. And it's going to be nasty because then it's going to be super easy to clean again. Because this stuff grows so fast, I could care less if I rip it out every single time I clean the tank. And then uh, maybe I'll even carpet the walls. I don't know. I'm thinking about actually wrapping it around this driftwood right here too. Uh, and maybe even like, I don't know, maybe it looks sick. I have no idea. You know, I'm just going to try it out and see what's up with that. Um, another thing I'm going to try too is I'm going to try this with baby tears. I have... Which I'll show you over here, in case you don't believe me. I still have an obnoxious amount of baby tears. So what I'm going to do for the next one is I'm going to do the same concept. Uh, excuse my hands are disgusting because, well, I am a contractor and it happens. So I'm going to actually do the same concept here. Um, you know, just sparsely put them out and then hopefully they'll grow through. And maybe I can get some awesome carpeting going on with that. Which again is something good if I don't have a uh, substrate on the bottom of my tank. So... I'll let you know how that goes, obviously, you guys know how it is, I do tank updates, I put up videos, I'm about to make a bunch more today actually to answer some of your questions because everybody's curious about stuff and I got some answers for you, so, that being said, as always, subscribe if you haven't yet, this channel is fun, you can always ask me questions, I do get back to you, if not in video form, at least verbally, I'll type it out, you know, and then hopefully video form for everybody else because... You know, that's that's how it is. That's how this channel works. Um, I like to keep up with you guys. Always leave video responses, comments, questions, concerns, yada, yada, yada. You know the routine. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It's going to be fun. Hope you guys are having a great St. Patty's Day. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope this video brings you and your tank a little closer to Cloud9.